Eunice. I'm an educator here with Opre, and welcome back to the first live of 2023. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season. Happy New Year. Uh, I think I can still say that, right? Um, and I hope everyone's 2023 is already off to a really good start. So today for our first live, we're really excited because we want to get you guys started off right for Valentine's Day, okay? I know it feels like maybe it's kind of far away, but if you're a professional, you know that we're going to start getting requests in for Valentine's Day nail art, like basically within this week, right? So we want you guys to get prepped. We want you guys to get all the tools ready. And we want to give you guys some creative ideas as to like what you can do. Because, you know, after doing, you know, your 20th heart set, sometimes you might think like, I really don't know how to make this look different. I really don't know what to do here to make this look uh beautiful but easy it's not too time consuming for me so we want to try to cut down all the work for you do all the thinking for you right so we'll suggest some colors we'll show you a nail art look and we'll show you how to make something look really beautiful really easy using just like two or three colors okay so um with that said we're gonna get started okay all right okay so i see you guys in the chat it off saying hi to everybody that's really exciting okay first look at this beautiful look this is what we're going to be doing here you see it on my three fingers here so we're doing a nice soft what's this nail look called aura nails glow nails i've heard it called different a bunch of different names but this is such an easy look it looks like it took a lot of time a lot of work went into this but if you guys see what we do it's really fast really quick really easy so for all the people out there who are going to be in the salon day in day out during valentine's day this is the look you want to do. So, so easy. Okay, so we already have a Gel-X tip on. And of course, first step first is Gel-X prep. We're going to scrub this onto the surface of the nail to prep the surface of the tip for color application. If we, do, if we don't do this, the color will just peel right off the tip because the tip is so smooth. Okay. Ooh, people are already excited about the colors, the pinks. I'm so excited. I'm so glad that you guys like that. Anyone have any good Valentine's Day plans or single awareness day plans? Okay, next we're gonna get um, our one of our nude colors, Fairy Wings. 
and we're gonna do a nice layer of fairy wings. So our new gel color series has been extremely popular, you guys. It's been doing so, so well. So I know that some of the colors are out of stock right now, but don't worry, they'll be in stock within hopefully this week, I'm hoping. So don't shy away, check the website regularly and really get into these colors because there's a reason why they keep going out of stock. You guys, there's a reason why. These colors are so extremely wearable, so beautiful. And so you'll see here, this nice sheer wearable nudish pink. Look at that, it's so beautiful. And honestly, all six of our colors, we're gonna cure this for 30 seconds, goes so well with so many different skin tones. It really is not um, skin tone specific, right? And as you can see also, we're gonna suggest some colors to do some Valentine Day, uh, Valentine's Day nail art, but you can see just from our little like setup here, we have so many beautiful pink colors, not just the colors that we suggest. We have our pink color extend gel series. We have our French ombre manicure gel series in Holland. That's this entire pink set right here on the top row. And we of course in gel color have a lot of pinks. So you guys, this is just a suggest suggestion in terms of what you can do for nail art. You can take this and run with it. Okay, doing a second coat. What color is that? This is called Fairy Wings. Oh, Claus by Ruby says she just got that color, can't wait to use it. You are gonna fall in love with this color. You're really gonna love it. Glitter and Shine Nail says that, oh, she has the blue ombre series. Oh, that's Mykonos. I'm so glad you have it. I hope you love it. That brush is very unique too. And of course, oh, I can't believe we forgot to talk about Brush X. We always have to talk about Brush X. So while I'm curing this, we're gonna show you Brush X. So of course with gel color, every single bottle comes with our signature Brush X. You can see, very special, it's made out of PBT fibers, same things that you see in eyelash extensions. This is why that brush can get so thin, so razor thin, so precise. It's beautifully shaped into a teardrop shape. This gives you that really controlled, precise application when you go into color, okay? So you guys, this is basically like a high quality nail art tool in every bottle. Color name again, Fairy Wings, Fairy Wings. Okay, so now we have this beautiful nude shade on. And then what we're gonna use next is we're gonna use our peel off liquid mask because we're gonna use some air gel. We're gonna do some airbrushing today. And you guys, for those of you who are um, maybe new to airbrushing or kind of thinking about dipping their toes into it, I highly, highly recommend getting into it because with our 200 gel color polish line, you can create air gel with each color. It's insane. So that means now you have 200 options for air gel color. Most air gel systems, you need to use separate gel to create color, but with our air gel system and our gel color, you can use it together. Okay, so we have our air gel machine. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take Just Chili Out, our beautiful warm red, and we're going to take, and we're gonna show you exactly how we turn this into air gel formula. So we're gonna take our dropper bottle and we're gonna fill it with dilution fluid. Dilution fluid is that magic sauce that actually turns the air gel into, or the gel color into air gel. So what's convenient about our dropper bottle is that our dropper actually has a marker as to how much of the dropper uh, dilution fluid you need. So you need 0.25 milliliters, right? and it shows you right there conveniently. You don't have to do any math. You don't have to do any guesswork. We did it all for you. It's dummy proof. And then you're going to take that into the flow cup, drop it in, easy peasy. And then you take your color. So today we're using just chili out, but you can use any color you wish. Remember, this is just a suggestion as to what you could do for nail art. You could do this in black if we're anti-Valentine's Day, you know what I mean? So we're gonna take basically a brush full, you're gonna scoop out a side, scoop out another side, there you go. And then you're gonna to wanna to take a really cheap brush. Do not use a nice nail art brush, you guys. Just a cheap paintbrush from like Michaels, um, any hobby store, and you're gonna mix, 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 mix. And then you're going to take a yellow rubber cap that comes with your air gel maintenance kit, and you're just gonna gently blow back some bubbles to really thoroughly mix this together, okay? This way, you can get the color fully mixed and make it into a seamless air gel solution. 
Uh, a lot of the nail artists we work with who have been using this method by turning gel color into air gel, they say that the air gel that they create with our gel color is actually better than our original air gel formula. It hurts us a little bit to be able to hear that because we love our air gel formula, but it makes us proud at the same time because that means gel color is definitely doing something right. Okay, so now we're gonna test that on a little bit of paper first. And then she's going to start gently blowing the air gel onto the center of my nail, creating that nice aura or glow effect. Look at that. And that was like a what, two second process? Super easy, super, super easy. And then we're gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, glitter and shine nail says, I can't wait to try my Opera airbrush, just a little nervous. I totally understand because it's new, right? So we do have some tutorials on YouTube and on Instagram. I highly recommend you look up those tutorials and try to get familiar with it. But remember, practice makes progress, okay? So you just practice and you'll get there. All right. Oh, Erica nailed it, asked a really good question. You can use glitter colors in the air gel machine? No, that's the one catch here, you guys because glitter particles are gonna to be too big for the needle in the air, uh, the air gel machine, so we don't recommend the glitter colors, but everything else is game. Okay, all right, next we're going to use Easter Parader. And we're gonna use Cloud9. So we're gonna use the two of them to create some really cute little tiny hearts. And we're gonna show you how easy it is to create really like immaculate clean hearts. And I'm sure you guys might have seen this somewhere uh, with, used with a dotting tool, but just in case you guys haven't seen it before, or you guys want a close-up tutorial on how to do it, here's your chance. Shalom Yawa Amber Rickson on YouTube said that color is gorgeous. Thank you so much. We think so too. Okay, so she's taking a little dotting tool and she's gonna dip it in the cloud nine and she's gonna make two dots right next to each other. Right? Look at that, super easy. And then she's going to take her short liner brush and she's gonna dip it in a tiny extra bit of cloud nine and she's gonna pull those dots together to create that heart. Jax Ars, oh, I, I don't know how to say your username, girl. <laughs> J-A-X-R-A-R-C-E. She says that I need the entire pink colors as a set. Well, don't we all? Well, you know what I could recommend you? The French manicure ombre set in Holland. That is sold in a set of five. So you get five beautiful colors. And we're doing this again with the hearts with our pink color Easter Parader. And those five colors, they do come with an angle brush that's perfect for French, but you can use it also for one color. It's a very versatile brush and it's made with the same PPT fibers as our gel color brush. Okay. And then, oh, Groovy and Presta, all those pinks look so cute. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it, guys. We're hoping that this is kind of getting your creative juices flowing. As you can see, we use like three colors here, four colors, to make this really beautiful nail art look. And you saw how fast that airbrush was, right? I'm gonna cure this. You basically do that airbrush across all 10 fingers and you could do that in, I don't know, I'm gonna say like less than a minute really because it was so easy, so fast. And because we use that peel off liquid mask, you don't have to worry about any of that airbrush sticking to the sides of your, your client's fingers because we could just peel it right off. You don't have to worry about that because the worst thing you can do is do airbrush on your client's hands, get it on the skin, and then cure that because now I don't know how you're gonna get that off, right? It's gonna be a nightmare. And then also, even if you were to get that before you put it in the lamp, you might accidentally rub it off with acetone, what you did on the nail, so you want this. So like you can see right here, she's able to just peel that off. Ooh, talk about visual ASMR. That's so satisfying. It's like peeling off that plastic wrap in a new car. It's the best feeling. Look at that, perfect. And the finger is clean, nice, neat. That's the easiest cleanup you could possibly do. Okay, next we're gonna use our top gel coat. It's our ultra high shine, semi hard formula that gives you shine and strength. To create a beautiful set of nails. Okay, uh, Erica nailed it asked, does the peel off have latex in it? Yes, it does unfortunately. We are trying to see if we can find alternatives, but it does have latex. So good question for those who are um, allergic. 
Bella Rizad Rizada says, so pretty, love it, definitely feeling inspired. Okay, look at that, so beautiful. All right, we're gonna cure this for 30 seconds. All right. And, oh, someone said they love the ring. Thank you so much. Okay, and then, oh, Heather Selena said, these colors give me life. Girl, same, thank you. And, oh, someone asked, are we coming out with a Valentine's Day bundle? Well, not like an official bundle. So what, if you go to our website, we're going to be showcasing some colors that we recommend um, to use for Valentine's Day. So for example, right here, our educator is getting some colors out for you guys to see um, that you guys can use to create a nice Valentine's Day look. This is what we think would create a wide variety of looks without too much effort, without too much thinking. Um, so definitely take a look at these colors. But of course, if you look at our background here, our setup, you see that we have our Holland City set right here. And then we have a bunch of other pinks and reds. And then we have our Color Extendial series right here. That is Color Extendial in different shades of pink. So you have honestly all the options and of course don't forget you guys we have um our special britney tokyo collaboration heart cutout tips those would be so stinking cute for valentine's day so that's something to think about too okay so final looks look at that so easy so beautiful can we get on the let's see Ooh, there we go look at that that is so nice i want the ring Okay, that was so easy, so beautiful, so simple, and really like three colors, that's it. Okay, so, all right, wait, someone asked, someone asked if uh, we're doing a set with Sweet 16. The colors our educator just showed, that Sweet 16 is one of our recommended colors. So if we're doing, if you ask for doing a set, we are, we just did. Um, Rejoice in Color says it was so quick. I know, right? It was really quick. Oh, someone asked what tips I'm wearing. Good question. I am wearing natural round medium. Ooh, angle it, angle it, Eunice. There you go. Okay, perfect. Sweet 16 is gorgeous. Thank you so much. It really is. You guys, don't sleep on our glitters. Our glitters are no joke. Okay, so. That was it, it was really fast, right? <laughs> it really wasn't too much work. What we wanted to do was really try to kind of give you guys a quick, easy look that you can do anytime that someone comes in in the next like three weeks or so to ask for Valentine's Day art. And you could really turn this around. If someone comes in and they're like anti-Valentine's Day or they don't wanna do the whole pink and red, mix out and put some black in this. You could totally do that as well too. That would be so cute. So. Uh, I hope you guys go to our website, check out these colors. Again, I know that some of our nudes might be sold out right now, but they should be in stock within this week. So if you order it within this week, you should definitely get it in time before your Valentine's Day rush, okay? Um, and don't sleep on the nudes either, you guys. There's a reason why it keeps going out of stock and why we have to keep uh, restocking it, okay? It's doing super well because they're so wearable, they're so easy to use, and they're so beautiful, okay? So, like I said, go to our website, check out the suggestions for Valentine's Day nail art looks, some, some of the tools, some of the products. I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day this year, and I'm so excited to get back on live, see you guys for 2023, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, bye. We are one